So what are your thoughts about um, Thanksgiving fall plot? Is it like in browns? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Then what about Christmas plot? It's fun. Which one do you prefer? Ugly, ugly Christmas sweaters. All right. I think I think that um Leora. <laughs> Leora. I think that plaid Leora. I have your foot. I I think that full plaid can appear basic and then Christmas plaid just appears festive. You know what I mean? Festive is good. I mean, I think yeah. I think one of the other things with Christmas is the uh, it's fun to do like kind of newer things like a minimalist tree with kind of like striking colors and all that stuff but at the same time you don't have to be cutting edge with your style on christmas christmas and thanksgiving are both <laughs> what's up Leora? they're both they're i'd say they're kind of traditional homely holidays in many senses so. i think carl lagerfeld will, will like not be happy carl lagerfeld <laughs> can come tell me how to pop my collar and then tell me which plot i should wear I like this plaid, so I I wore this plaid today, and he's like, "Oh, you have on your good plaid. You're blending in with the local people." Locals are on their plaid game. They are on their plaid game. I thought I had plaid. This is plaid on a whole different level. But just so you know, I have this plaid dress. I have two of these, and Liara has one. Now Gabe has one. So you have to somehow join the crew. I, I done screwed up. <laughs> You have to somehow join the crew, but really, I bought it. I bought Gabe's onesie um, the other day, so it's just a good one to have, I think. All right, I'm gonna put my lipstick on and drink my lemon water. Do you have plaid lipstick? No, no. Yeah. I'm so glad we can like wear lipstick again and not worry about our masks. Mm. Um, do you want pizza? This should so fun. Okay. So, do you want pizza or chicken tenders? Hmm? Pizza? You don't want pizza. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Leah, what color is this? Is that coffee? Is that okay? What is that? It, it's coffee. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> Are you asking her her colors, Leah? What color is this? Red. What color is this? Yellow. What color is this? Pink. What color is this? Good job. Yay. Thank you. And the next ticket's up soon. Alright. Great. Thank you. Just going straight for the sausage. It's hot though. Leora, that is going to cut it for you. Alright, Leora, can we take you to your um, high chair now? High chair? Yeah. Stuff. It's steak and eggs to crunch. With a side of Brussels sprouts and fries and a flight of drinks. I'll just show you. You basically create your own chef for um, mimosa. So it's cranberry juice, orange juice, grapefruit juice, and pineapple juice with a bottle of champagne. And you just make it. Yo. I usually get Liddy, but I'm gonna try not to get Liddy and just behave myself because we have stuff to do but yeah mm.
So these are my options for my you know holiday dresses this is for like the holiday party we're attending and this is for the photo shoot and maybe on christmas day uh, as you can see leora is wearing hers but the problem is yes that's a box the problem is this is green and it fits perfectly and this is yeah that's a present that's a present but don't touch it and then this is black it's so cute i know and this is black and the black one is too tight they are literally the same size size 8 us 8 so i'm gonna have to return this um i don't know if i need to size up to 10 i just pretty much wear something else in my closet because this is too tight and then just wear this for the pictures isn't that crazy like the same size the same dress identical but one is tighter than the other the same fabric the same design everything's identical I just want to bring my nails to your attention for one quick second if you notice I have on these nails and they look so glam at no point in this video did I stop to go to the nail shop and it's because these are fake press-on nails from glamour made honestly they are so dope glamour made basically they make press on nails expertly created by design teams all across the globe and they are manufactured with exceptional quality their standard is amazing it's basically beauty in a box it's basically glam in a box and beauty at your fingertips literally for any occasion for, for someone like me for example when i'm doing these photo shoots or when i'm going out to dinner or weddings I just slap them on and keep it moving because I don't have the time to go to the nail shop to get these nails done, especially being that they are so long and then when I get back home, I feel like I won't be able to do anything. But I do like the glam, especially when I'm, you know, having a glass of champagne or out with friends. I like looking like, you know, all put together, even though I may not all the way be put together. And that's where the fake nails come in from Glamour Made. You can get them in so many patterns, so many colors, shapes, and, you know, designs all across the spectrum of colors. Guys, I mean, black, white, French tip. Um, some of them are even gel. They even have gel polishes. And they always have a lot of discounts. Right now is the holiday and I know they have a lot of deals available I will be sure to put a link in the description box below to their website so you can check them out and shop and have fun how was dinner you had cauliflower did you like it cauliflower I think he did I think he did <laughs> ignore the sound you're hearing in the background that's basically the sound machine I have playing 24 7 in the kids room but yeah, it's Christmas time and I try to read the kids um, Christmas books, you know, around this time of year. And the same applies to watching shows. Everything has to be Christmas oriented so they get like immersed in the Christmas spirit. And this is a Christmas book called Wishing for a White Christmas. I got it from the White Company when Leora was like six months old. 
And every Christmas we bring it out. And this is her third Christmas now. So, yeah. You gotta be intentional with everything. Oh my God, look at Santa. So cute. Okay, finish taking our pictures. And now the kids are back. They are fed. They are in bed. And I am unpacking the groceries that hubby got hubby's in bed because he's on call tomorrow and the kids are sleeping so it's just me downstairs and yeah, yeah i have this full bag of groceries mostly veggies to put away and i am tired so i'm gonna do this and then i'll call it a night i will catch up with you guys later in the week when i go back to doing some vlogging stuff doctor's appointments for little boy and he is playing with my keys. He's about to get jabbed. And Hubby and Leora over there. My family. Hi, family. <laughs> He's tired. I had five C-sections last night and two vaginal deliveries. So it's pretty tired. And I dragged him out to come to the doctor's appointment with me. <laughs> Just get a lot of perks when he's around. So why not? Doing well, thank finished you. here um, from the hospital and then I had a client call and Hubby had to run in and get the tree and wreath while I had to call. And I'm done with the call and I'm back in Hobby Lobby. And I can find my wreath. Like, I'm happy about that. Okay, so I'm getting this to accompany the one in the living room. I really like it. So I'm at the bathroom at Hobby Lobby. You can see all the streaks. A bunch of the stuff that I wanted was sold out. So they didn't have to read, they didn't have some of the stuff that I wanted. So I'm going to eventually just probably order the stuff online. Okay, but look at these reindeers though. Like, how can you not? I don't understand how you cannot. How can you not? I, I know that I cannot. They're so cute. Oh my God. Lyra, what did you do? Say I broke it. You broke it, I broke it. Guys, come get your niece. Come get your niece. I didn't even have this out for five minutes. I literally just brought it out of the bag, put it on the counter. Before I even said, okay, let me put the bag in the trash, she'd already reached for it, tossed it to the floor, and the horns fell out. Like, it's already broken. It's not, I haven't even figured out where I wanted to put it. It fell down and you broke it. Yeah. She's saying she broke it. She knows she broke it. So it's like, I, I don't even know what to do at this point. Um, that's what happened to our other reindeer. And now look at this. Do, do I go back and, and buy another one? Or do I make an attempt to um, glue it on and just have it super fragile? It hadn't even made its way to my room yet. I was thinking maybe it'll be on my um, dresser, you know, by my bedside. And look. I did it. Yes, you did it, Leora. It's not a thing to be proud of, honey. You broke it. What was I thinking anyway? I thought I could have this around with toddlers. Mom fail. In the kitchen, making food for the kiddos and the family, doing everything at the same time. And I got some coffee brewing because mommy needs her coffee. 7 p.m., mommy needs her coffee. Yes. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so I did get some new candles from Yankee Candles. Guys, you know I love Yankee Candles for every day. These are my favorite candles. And they were doing a sale. A number is missing? What number is missing? She's doing her puzzles and she's telling me that there's a number missing. Well, tell me what number is missing and I'm going to look for it for you. Ooh, ooh. Home for the holidays. Look at that. Could it come at a more perfect time? So, this, is, this was my everyday Thanksgiving candle. I mean, I still use my Jo Malone, the white company, those candles, but more for when it's like a special day, like week night, weekend night, so if we're having guests over, but for everyday round the clock use, Yankee candles. So this was freshly tapped maple that took me through Thanksgiving. And now this is home for the holidays. I love it. Forget about my nails, guys. You know, you know, just, yeah. I did order some more, but they did notify me that those I ordered were back ordered, if you will which is fine i just wanted to make sure that at least i got my home for the holidays candles you can't find these anywhere maybe like a Beth bed and beyond otherwise i know some drugstores try to ca carry yankee candles but the holiday collection done with people have gone crazy with these sales and just keep on buying them and i get it i totally get it so let's go ahead and light this bad boy now As you can see, I also got the table set from Lalo and it comes with two chairs and a play table, which also can be like a dining table. It's just a multi-purpose table um, for Leora and Gabriel when he gets big enough. I am debating whether or not I need to get another high chair for Leora because she's not really using her booster seat. She's just obsessed with Gabriel's high chair um, and it just becomes problematic. But I also feel like she needs a booster seat like tomorrow. So I may get the other chair that also has that converts into a booster seat and we'll see how that goes. I also got, um, well, hold on, where's my tea? It's okay, Gaby, it's feed time. I also got um, feeding set from Lalo for Gabriel, all silicone, um, and this is just like a plate with three compartments in it. The fruit bowl or oatmeal bowl, as I like to call it. This little cup, he's obviously not, he can't, you know, suck from a straw yet, but eventually when he can, it'll be perfect. It also doubles as an open-ended cup, which you can use, use to learn how to like, you know, drink and hold water or juice or milk or whatever it is he's drinking at that time. And when he's old enough, we'll put the lid over it and it just turns into a straw cup. And two little feeding, oh my God, these are the cutest. Two little feeding spoons silicone as well lightweight silicone bibs oh my god so i got silicone bibs for liora i think i can't remember the company i got it from and yeah it worked but it was so heavy i had to wait till she like she was like maybe 18 months to comfortably use them but these ones are lightweight you know and this has like a broken stone pattern which is like unisex i love it super lightweight so i got another one for um gabriel as well now what i tend to use for the most part is this little lightweight bumpkins ones it has dinosaurs and llamas and all things but i really do prefer the silicone ones because it wipes right off um and it has buttons as opposed to velcro again this is not a sponsored video but lalo give your girl a call and yeah it's just something that in comparison to the other bibs i do prefer the silicone bibs now these ones are very light which is really amazing and then they're lightweight so i'm probably 
when I start feeding him, you know, like solids on the regular, I mean, he gets solid twice a day, but I'm saying like when we go to restaurants and stuff and I want to order stuff for him, I'll definitely have one of these in my diaper bag. So I may go ahead and order another set so I can just have this entire feeding set up in my diaper bag as well. I got these all during the Black Friday sale because, you know, these are quite pricey and I waited all year <laughs> until they were on sale. Leora has a play date and we're heading there now and I'm late because I had a client call this morning. She sent me like an SOS last night and I responded to her this morning and it was just basically, um, she just wanted somebody to talk to. I get it. Bye -bye. In my Yeah, we're home. Um, we're leaving home now, but in my profession, part of what we do is kind of like just holding hands and making people know that Bye -bye. it's okay. I understand how you feel. Bye -bye. And um, being that it's a service, you know, I'm providing, there is value to that. So that sent me back um, about 30 minutes today. So we're supposed to be there at 1030. It is now 1040 and I haven't left. And it's 20 minutes away. Yay, mama dear. Leora, did you have fun at your play date? Did you have fun with Joseph? Yes, I fun with Joseph. You had fun with Joseph. Cool, cool. All right, we're going to head out. And um, this was fun. The kids got to play. And Gaby got to play. And now he's sleepy. Yeah, that's your cup. Um, and now we're heading back. You dropped your cup. It's on your head. On your head! <gasps> you dropped your cup! She made it to Zumba. She made it. That's all I can say. 15 minutes late, but she made it. I need to have my shoes, but she made it. Yep. So I also want to share that I always get these leggings from CVS. They're by Style Essentials um, Hanes, you know, the company. Basically, as a mom, I live in leggings, especially high-waisted leggings, so it can, like, cinch my belly in, uh, my postpartum belly. And I may not get around to doing laundry when I need to get the laundry done, so... Um, I just need to have extra pairs available and I probably have almost 10 of these in rotation. So if you're looking for the perfect leggings that you don't have to go to like, you know, TJ Maxx or Marshalls to go look for, check out your regular CVS and you may be surprised. This brand is awesome. Making some barbecue bourbon chicken wings and I figured I'll come on here and just share it with you guys because I know you guys tend to ask about my recipes and you know basically how I do my cooking so here it is different kinds of seasoning bourbon seasoning barbecue seasoning garlic powder seasonal salt the basics you you know basically just down your ingredients with your chicken mix 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 and just make sure everything is evenly coated that's going to come in handy later and then you slice some onions that calcifies very well um, with the chicken once it's baked you bake it in the oven for about 30 minutes and after that you bring it out and it's supposed to look like this nice and juicy and um, then you stir it make sure everything is really nice and everything is fully marinated and then you drain the juices out this is very important. You drain the juices out and you put it in a different bowl because these juices are going to be the base of your bourbon seasoning. You then mix some of those juices, if not all, um, to the extent you can with the bourbon. You get one or two ounces of bourbon. As you can see, hubby was going a little overboard here, but it's okay because it's gonna cook. And you mix the bourbon in and then you add a teaspoon of flour. No more than three tablespoons of flour and mix it to the best extent you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, perfection is the enemy of good. Just make sure you get all the lumps out to the best extent that you can. And then you mix it with your chicken. Make sure it's as evenly coated as possible. It should be light, it should be brown, and it should also be thick. Um, 
as far as the consistency but just make sure you get it evenly coated and plop it back in the oven for about 25 minutes it should come out looking just like this decadent rich thick juicy goodness all over and of course you can serve it just like this but we decided to take it out from the cooking pan and then put it in a different serving pan sure and it, smoke it smoked the wings so that's a smoker over there and it's the smoke's flavor sealing in the wings like oh my god and then we're making a charcuterie board here so this is um what's going on different cheeses tomatoes carrots and crackers so yeah, so we're heading out to our friends for um, dim night and we're bringing some food and this is what we're doing. So we're headed out to date game night with our friends. What's the name of that new game you got, babe? Is it Trial by Trolley? I don't know, it's something about like... Like a murder mystery type of? No, no? it's more basic and horrible than that. Oh, okay. It's essentially... <laughs> Never uh, mind then. Like, would you rather... Yeah. Vroom, vroom, vroom. It's like a train is coming. Yeah. And it's gonna, and you have to choose which track it goes down. Oh, I see. Do you make the train run over? Like an old five, lady? Five old ladies. Or? Or one small child. Something like that. Right, like it's supposed to be like very extraordinarily morally ambiguous slash repulsive decisions. Well, Jesus, it's a five. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, and we have the kiddos with us, so it'll be fun. Look yeah. at those lights, though. Mm -hmm. We just see the whole of the area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.